ended up uh, painting the wheels that I had got to clean them up. They had rust all in them and I was thinking of keeping the chrome lip but there was so much rust and I didn't really know how I was going to make it look clean. So I ended up just sanding them all down and uh, painted the whole thing black. So I think they look pretty good like that. Uh, you know, we got the stance on the, the truck. I ended up bringing it up just a tiny bit because out here on these roads it's not the greatest it was riding pretty good but I just brought it up just a little bit to make sure we weren't scrubbing and stuff but uh it's set up good now I think I need to go give it a bath but we got the wheels on
factory on these trucks and it had really looked but that big piece of tube there running across between the frame rails before uh, it's like an extension piece that goes out to where the rear bumper mounts up and there's a big piece of tube there welded in between those those two extension pieces and I don't know if that's factory or not but somebody clearly has been in there welding on that because it's awful uh, I guess they use the stick welder and just dripping kind of thing so I'm not real sure if that piece is there on all of them, but uh, I was debating keeping it there or not. Um, I may eventually go in and try to clean it up, make it a little better, but it seems solid regardless, I guess. Uh, but I think they welded it slightly crooked, but I got mine on the back there, straight and even and all. Uh, the one underneath there you can't really see it you know up under the bottom of the bed so I'm not terribly worried about it but everything seems good and everything seems straight as far as frame and all uh, I just I'm thinking I'm gonna leave it there because for wanting to drift this truck and stuff eventually it's just more structural support between the rear frame rails I may leave it for that reason and you know or if it's a factory then I'll leave it anyway but at the same time I'm kind of lightening up the back of the truck a little bit uh, so it may be good to leave a little weight as this truck I don't know how close to a 50 50 ratio or anything like that it is but I'll want a little weight in the back and swing it around so I'll have to test it out with it and see what I think wanted to kind of shorten the rear end, get rid of that big bumper, and clean up, you know, the look with the wheels and the height and stuff like that. So that's what we did. Uh, got some of the vents out, you know, there was a dent here. Uh, there was some venting up under there. I didn't get all of that yet because some of it's kind of bad. I didn't get into all that yet, but may end up getting in there trying to pull that I don't know I just hate to drill holes and uh, use a slide hammer so I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not but did get some of the dents and the fenders and the hood got this panel here which has been up pretty bad it's not perfect now but it's better than it was but uh, some stuff like that we got taken care of. And uh, well, that's kind of where we're at. So just cleaning it up. And like I said, I need to give it a bath and all. And, uh, the bait on using these front posts to do some kind of a brush guard effect. Uh, I don't know that I want to. I don't really want to put any more weight up front. But there is potential there for doing it, so I'm not sure yet. Uh, Y'all let me know your thoughts and uh, you know, tips and anything you're thinking, recommendations or ideas. Uh, let me know, leave in the comments. Y'all you know. uh, subscribe and keep up with what we're posting you know we keep stuff coming so different projects all the time this year lately i'm working on this truck so uh, also another thing i had going on today was uh i sell a lot of car parts and items and different things you know i do the builds and sell what i don't need and stuff off different ones but I got a top here I removed that it's off uh, El Camino 
guy is going to be coming to get from me with the hood here. So, I had that going on today. I had to cut that top off. So that was a little bit of a, a job getting all that. But, you know, we do different stuff like that to part things out, make a couple bucks, and continue on with what we want to do, you know what I mean? So, but, uh, I gotta finish getting some stuff off of this one. We got parted out pretty well, but a lot of stuff sold on this El Camino, but, uh, got a few more things to get rid of. Uh, but anyway, that was what else I was doing today, I was getting that done. And I was working on the truck, getting the wheels painted and the rear bumper done and the exhaust cut how I wanted it and things like that. So, just that kind of stuff. But, uh, yep, but that's it. That's the latest as of now. So, we got it lowered down a little in the back in the front we got the rear bumper that I'm gonna be running there uh, some items to sell the interior kind of stripped down a little bit uh, front's lowered pretty good not as low as some people go but I think for, for the look and purpose and everything else I think it's good right now uh, but I put some new tires on the front here when I got these wheels so the tires are really new got it really painted up and we'll clean the truck up and see how it looks kind of decide what else we may want to do I don't know I was kind of debating if I want to paint it or anything like that any other ways I want to go with it so I'll let you know what you're thinking. Alright.